Welcome to PC Couch Gamer, I'm your host of the internet's Buzz Stringer and we will be looking at how to get the DualShock 4 controller running on a Windows based PC. Let's go. If you haven't seen the video on which is the best controller for PC, it will be up there. Before we get started, you'll need a couple of things. Number one, a DualShock 4 controller, and number two, a Bluetooth dongle, unless your laptop or PC already has Bluetooth built in. So we're going to head over to inputmapper.com and download the software. The 1.5 version seems to be the most stable. There is other software out there that allows you to do exactly the same thing, but this one I found is the most customizable and the most reliable. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and get that installed. And while it's installing, now might be a good time to set up the Bluetooth, so go ahead and plug the dongle in. If you're running Windows 7 or above, it should just find it on its own. Once Input Mapper is installed, open it up, and it will say that there are no compatible controllers detected. Now open the Bluetooth settings in Windows. So once you're in the Bluetooth settings, hold the PS button and the share button simultaneously for a few seconds until the light bar starts to flash white. When that starts happening, you can click wireless controller in the Bluetooth settings and click pair. For some reason, a certain quirk of Windows, it may not pair the first time you click it. So just click it again until it's paired. Once that's done, Input Mapper should automatically detect the controller and you are pretty much good to go. So you can customize a bunch of things inside here, similar to how you would the Steam controller. However, the interface is outside of Steam, so it's another step. But if you have it all set up pretty much as an Xbox controller, then you're good to go. So all you have to do is fire up Steam and play your favorite games with an Xbox controller layout. Plus the touchpad doubles as a nice input for the mouse. What I would recommend doing first off is going and starting a new profile and turning the timeout down to 600 seconds. This will turn off the controller if it's been idle for longer than 10 minutes. Otherwise it will stay on as long as your PC is on and completely drain the battery. Or do you have a better way of getting the DualShock 4 to run on Windows? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, get subscribed for more stuff like this. You can also listen to the gaming podcast, which I'm a part of. It is Sit Down and Game. It is on YouTube and iTunes. You can check those out in the links in the video description below. So until next time, I'll see you around.